Hello, hello. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to make a pretty looking sidebar in Data Studio. Um, there are lots of default options, right? There's all of the different navigation, sidebar, tab, um, the nav, top nav, all those different are options that we have. But what if you wanted to make something more stylized or build in uh, custom functions within Data Studio itself? Let's talk about that. Uh, but first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to say if you have not yet joined the awesome Data Studio VIP newsletter um, and got the cheat sheet, Data Studio VIP forward slash YouTube, grab the cheat sheet. It's got eight awesome ways to optimize your next dashboard. Really freaking cool. All right, let's just hop into it. And here we go. Um, this is what we're talking about. See on the left here. You can see how there's like dashboard, you've got events, you got all those different pieces and you can click through each of them, right? So if I wanna click on this, on this, on this, we are good to go, right? So if you wanna click on audiences, we've got like kind of all these sub navigations. This is what we're gonna to wanna to build. Um, and so let's just hop into it. We're gonna go right away and dive into a brand new report. So here is um, our, again, how to get GSD and GDS report and let's talk about it. First thing that we're gonna do is we can like, get rid of all of these pieces up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move these out of the way because I don't wanna get rid of them forever because this is our kind of template report. But what I do wanna do though is I wanna show you exactly how to make a new navigation. So let's first add a giant rectangle. So what we're gonna do is create a rectangle on the background, this background right here, and we're gonna put that, um, right, again, on our report so that we have something in the background. First thing you wanna do is that, and then let's just make it all the way down. That's cool. Next thing, we wanna put in our text for our navigation. So the thing that we have to think about is that there are layers, right? We've got the background, then we have our icon and our navigation, and then we're gonna have a selected icon and navigation. So what we're gonna do is just start off with some text. So I'm gonna have the home page. Let's just go say, uh, welcome as what we're gonna call it. Let's make a little bit of a more of a, a sleek font for our nav. I like Ubuntu is kind of a cool vibe. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it left aligned and we're gonna come down here and we're gonna get rid of the um, left padding and I'll show you why in a sec. And we're gonna also um, keep the top padding at eight pixels and we're gonna scroll this on up so it is more or less there and then double the size of this font. So we're gonna go with I don't know, 24 is a good, a good concept. So here, now we've got that. Put this right on over there. And what we're gonna do for this one is we are just gonna keep it super simple and have it lined up like that and put it as white. Boom. All right, now we've already got some basic navigation. I'm just gonna duplicate this and use all the tricks that I talk about in the um, Data Studio Efficiency course on how to do this. So we got welcome. We'll just then put here as about, actually not about, <laughs> let's say um, lead gen. And maybe we want like paid media. And then maybe we also would like some sort of trend so we'll also have trends so let's just again i'm not gonna build all these pages because it's not something that we need to but it will be extremely uh, again useful so here now we are off to the races we've got our welcome our lead gen we've got our paid media and then we're also going to say organic like seo let's just call it seo boom so here are our like pages, you can click on all of them. If you wanna hold shift, click all of them, right click and you say distribute vertically, right? Or what I'd recommend even further is using the grid settings and using your arrows to then say, hey, okay, that's there. We put this one up at the top. Let's just say it's right there. Put this one right below it. So that's that. So we're gonna go 40 pixels down. So we're using a 20 pixel grid. Do, 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 one, two, and we'll do that again. All right, one, two, boom. So here we are on the welcome, lead, um, paid media, and SEO. We always wanna start with this. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these, right click, and what we're gonna do is we are going to make them report level. So that way, 
if I make another page, let's, let's do this right quick. So I'm gonna create a new page right here. Do, 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 do. It's behind my big old head. All right, so now we got another page right here and we'll just rename that for the sake of keeping things lead gen. So imagine that this is the lead gen page. We're not talking about the actual report, just how to build this nav. So the next thing that you're gonna need is to figure out how we're gonna identify which page that we're on. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it super simple. We're gonna add in a small rectangle that is just gonna be really tiny. We're gonna make it white. And we're gonna change these to like, I don't know, 15. That should be probably good enough. All right, if you hold shift, by the way, it will allow you to go pixel by pixel. So that's a helpful little fun fact. All right, so there's up at the top. We then have this coming down here. All right, that's obviously on the welcome, um, not pixel perfect, but good enough. So now let's just go to our pages. Let's say that this is the welcome page. I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna go back to our home page of sexy sidebar. We then have our lead gen and we're gonna duplicate this to our paid media, paid media. And we're gonna then duplicate this one more time and we are gonna call this SEO. So just imagine that you've got a super basic report, only four pages, and we are gonna call this super sexy sidebar home. All right, so now let's put in our, um, oopsies, we don't want that, go back. Okay, we're good. So now we're gonna go to our homepage, we've got our pasting in of right there, and now um, we can start to get real excited with things. So. What we want to do is say how do we click on these pages so oftentimes i'll add icons and you what you can do is you can select this and then have that be the method of like a hyperlink but we can do one better by actually allowing it to be um like a, a clickable link overall so let's do that so what i did is i just grabbed an image uh placed it on the workspace and let's get into it so the workspace here has an image we got young daffy duck right here um and so what we're going to do now is use this as our navigation so in here with the images you can actually insert a link right here to a different page so i'm going to use a dynamic one of lead generation right for this one and we're gonna hit apply so now if we're in view mode and we're on the home page and i click this at the top of the page what you'll see is that we open up a new page in lead generation but we don't want to open it up in a new page we want to go back here and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and what we want to do is in our navigation we want to say do not open in a new tab so now if we hit apply go back to view mode click on this and now we can see that little page switch to nav and then we can go back so that is in essence what we're gonna be doing here. Now, how do we get rid of this thing and make it look cute? <laughs> That's the question that we all are asking ourselves. And this is where we're gonna get real fancy. I use an image of like, a GIF just cause I'm being fun, but you can just use a blank, any image and you would like to. You can use your logo if you're an agency and then this next step is gonna hide that. So if you go to style, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first Oh, first turn off preserve aspect ratio, and then we're gonna to go to style and change this down to 0%. So right now we have a GIF that is currently, you can't see, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide this, put this on over here. And so now we've got a GIF that's there, and if we go back to setup, let's change this to the, oops, that's not the right button. Uh, we are gonna change this to the sexy sidebar home. Hit apply. We're then gonna duplicate that, copy and paste. These are arrows. Remember it was 40 pixels down. So that's where we're at right now. Again, really helpful to remember that. Uh, you can then hit edit link and nothing will happen. So we're gonna click this link over here. And now we're gonna do our lead gen page, hit apply. We're then gonna copy this again, paste it, hit our left arrow, down arrow, unclick, boom. So you can see how things can get real quick. We're gonna then do our paid media, hit apply. Click again, copy and paste, boom, boom. Hit this. We're gonna open the SEO tab and hit apply. So now those are all gonna open up in a new tab. I'm gonna hit shift, clicking on each of these. 
Did I get them all? I don't think I did. Hold shift again. There we go. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna say, not that, right click. Okay, right click and we're gonna say make report level. So now these are all on top of everything. The last thing we're gonna do is copy this, command C, and we're gonna go to each of our pages and put it right on our next space. Identifying where we are. And because we're using the grid, right, I can uh, adjust on the fly really quickly. So here we are. Now we are on the SEO page. We are on the paid media page. We are on the lead gen page. We are on the welcome page. All of this now we can easily navigate because those images are at the report level with a hyperlink to the page to open in the same exact page. So now really quickly, I don't have to go up here to the nav. I can hit paid media lead gen welcome without much effort. Just keep in mind that if anybody clicks on this and then moves it, so say you're coming over here to move this, well, now you got a predicament because no matter how much I click on this, I'm not going to go to the welcome page. So just keep that in mind when you're building out your navigations of this is one method to do it. You have two methods on the page right now. We've got the, the top nav. We then have the side nav, um, which is built into Data Studio, but can be a super helpful way to wow people by showing them that you can actually like make something that looks pretty as opposed to just a basic BI engine data studio dashboard. So that that's it guys. I hope this was like very tactical to the point how to do it. And if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to join the newsletter over on uh, datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube and hit reply to any of the emails it's me or Stockton. It'll reply to literally everything that you send our way. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Happy GDS building. Best of luck.